Six, seven, eight for death row Mad niggas bout to feel the full effect of intellect So I could collect respect Plus a check Now I'm fin to get into my men to And take care of the spin so I'm going to do some examples for functions of several variables. So example one, we're going to evaluate h of x t equals exponential of minus x minus 2 squared over t squared, or 2t at 1 so this could be some function of let's say concentration of some liquid at some position or yeah some position along some tube x at some time t so uh, that's just an interpretation you could look at this as so uh so one five is 1 is going to be what our x equals, and t is going to be equal 5, because this equals x t. So h of 1, 5 is going to equal the exponential of minus, so we have x minus 2. x is 1, so it's 1 minus 2 squared. Number 2 times t, t is 5. So we have the exponential of 1 minus 2 is negative 1, which is, when you square it is 1, which is times a negative from here. So we have minus 1 on top, and we have 2 times 5, which is 10 on the bottom. Exponential function, you just take e to whatever is inside the function. You have e to the negative 1 tenth. And that's what h of 1 5 is. So... Moving on to example two. Um, I want to evaluate g of x1, x2, x3, x4 equals x1 times x4 times the square root of x2 times x3 at 1, 8, 2, negative 1. So x1, x2, all these subscripts, um, they're just so we don't need to come up with different letters for each variable. We can just give them subscripts indicating there are different variables. So we're going to find g of 1, 8, 2, negative 1. And we know that our x1, well, this equals x1, x2, x3, x4. So x1 is going to be 1 x2 is going to be 8, x3 is going to be 2, and x4 is going to be negative 1. So this is going to equal x1 times x4, which is 1 times negative 1, times the square root of x2 times x3, which is 8 times 2. So 1 times negative 1 is just negative 1, and 8 times 2 is 16, the square root of 16 is 4. So answer is negative 4. So for the next example, um, we're going to be going to find the domain range and level curves for f of x, y equals exponential of negative x squared plus y squared. So the domain um, we don't have any um, square roots to worry about. We don't have any uh, denominators, although we can rewrite this as e to the negative x squared plus y squared, which is actually 1 over e to the x squared plus y squared, but this exponential function is not, this denominator will not equal zero because the exponential function isn't zero for any real value. So we don't have to worry about 
those domain uh, issues. So our domain is um, all real numbers or R uh, with a fancy script. Um, the range. So for the range here, um, if you plug in all real numbers into uh, x squared plus y squared, uh, we get only uh, it's going to be greater than or equal to zero. Um, so all of these are going to be when the exponential function. If we look at the exponential function real quick, just e to the x, or e to the u, we'll say e to the u versus u. So whenever we plug in, um, sorry, we should do e to the negative u, because that's what we have here. So for our positive values of u, our function's range is in between e to the 0, which is 1, and 0, which is e to the infinity, or negative infinity. So since we're only plugging in positive values, and our u is x squared plus y squared, so u is greater than or equal to 0. Sorry if I explained that weird. So if we set x squared plus y squared equal to u, and we know x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 0, so if we know u is going to be greater than or equal to 0, we plot u times e to the negative u, because e to the negative x squared is just e to the negative u. And we see that between um, when u is greater than 0, we have our function between 1 and 0. So the range is... f of x, y is between 0 and 1, or you can write it as this. And we should probably put equals, because this doesn't actually ever approach zero, uh, equal 0, it only approaches it. And for the level curves, we're going to set our f of x, y equal to c. So we have e minus x squared plus y squared uh, equals c. If we ln both sides, we'll get negative x squared plus y squared equals ln c, because the e and the ln will cancel. And we can multiply both sides by negative 1. And we can use log rules to pull the negative inside. And we see that our level curves are just um, circles. And their radius is square root of ln 1 over c. But I'm bringing the motherfucking DRE. I keep the motherfucking.